Welcome CMS students. Uh, I'm going to take you guys through the uh, today's activity, uh, Chapter 9, Section 3 on American Culture. And you can see you're going to be doing some biographical posters here. Uh, you can see it's going to be a partner project. We will, um, uh, I'll make sure I email those to you. So check your email to get your partners. And as soon as you're done uh, watching this video, you can uh, get with that partner and uh, get started. You can see your resources here are going to be 308 through 313 of the U.S. History Textbook and any internet resources, and you will need to access those in your iPad. Due date, presented Friday, January 18th, um, uh, which will be the day we present. So we walk in that day and we will be presenting that day. Directions are two from the reading here. Choose a writer or an artist. So you and your partner choose either a writer or an artist. And here I've listed the ones in bold here that you can choose from. And then before you actually go headlong into a poster, come up with some questions that you would want to ask about your author or artist. Find out a little bit about them from the textbook or from you know Wikipedia. It doesn't matter what you read. Um, find out something about them and then post some real legitimate questions. Not, hey, what year were they born? Did they have brothers and sisters? Real meaningful stuff that gets to the heart of their, their writing and their their art. Um, so you go ahead and come up with just just four questions and literally write them down and I want to see those written down and then in your research you'll answer those and then present that on your poster. So what do you need in the poster? You need an image of the writer here uh, and cite your photo source. You need a short biographical description and cite your source. A listing of their right, well-known works. Again, cite where you got that from and then uh, either on D here an image of one of their visual works if they're if they're an artist like painter uh, show one of their paintings that you can actually describe so don't just pick a painting off throw it on your poster and say yeah this is what they did do some research and find out what it's of uh, why did they paint it in that way what was the the inspiration for that painting or perform if you're doing a writer a dramatic reading of one of the short a uh, short section of one of their famous writings so if you're doing Jane, you know James Fenimore Cooper. Um, I think it's right here on page, for instance, three twelve. You could pick from his uh, "The Last of the Mohicans," or you could pick from Washington Irving's "The Legend of Sleepy Hollow," for instance. So you could do a dramatic reading. And dramatic isn't standing up and being boring, but being obviously animated and with some passion to your reading. So pick someone that wants to do that. So you get the whole thing done, and and you put it on your poster. Uh, use HD DocScan, which is an app uh, on your iPad that you can use to scan your poster and as a PDF file. I think we've used this before in class. So you scan it on the app, email it to me. My email is right here uh, with your digital code, whatever hour you're in, and then you and your partner's names. This is due before class begins on the due date. So if the due date's the right here, Friday, January 18th, it needs to be mailed to me before class begins on the 18th. For extra credit, something fun, make it interesting, create a quality handout to give to the class that allows them to follow along and participate in your presentation. Uh, not a piece of paper with three questions on it, but something engaging and fun. And fun. And send that to me the day before so I can get it to our, uh, our class. So that'll be your extra credit option on that. And I didn't put that in there. So let's make that worth your while. And we'll give you up to uh, five points. Oops. Up to five points for that. Uh, the rubric you see here, uh, you work efficiently in your group. Ten points. You answer all the questions effectively and with real knowledge. And real knowledge means you actually know what the heck you're saying up there. You're not just blurting out something you read on a website. Um, and the way that you're going to, I'm going to know that you can do that. Is you know what all the words mean that you're saying. Uh, you can say them in your own way. And if you're asked a question uh, by me or the class, you can be able to answer it. Um, not to stump you, but just, just a basic understanding. Uh, poster is nicely rendered, shows quality work and pride. 10 points, spelling and grammar 10 points. And you've met all the requirements I've listed here, 10 points. And so with that, you have a 50 point uh, project grade um, uh, coming up for due this Friday. Uh, if you have questions or don't understand something, rewatch this. If you don't understand it more, rewatch it again, and then probably ask your partner. Ask a couple other partners, and then uh, come on up to me, and we'll take a look. Thanks a lot.
Good luck.